What about nightlife in Senegal? Personally, I liked my review at the decrepit theater on Gay Street. Are you tired of relying on dusty old books and lame-ass travel guides to show you what to do and where to go on your vacation? Hell yeah! I thought so. Well, starting now, your worries are being led astray by some old dude who doesn't know his ass from his elbow all over. Awesome! So, grab a pen, drop your drawers, and get ready to be schooled by the super mega awesome travel show. Welcome to the first edition of the Super Mega Awesome Travel Show. I'm James. And I'm Brian. And we're your hosts. Nay, nay, your guides to the dangerous world that lays outside the boundaries of your pathetic little town or village. Not everybody's from a pathetic town or village, Brian. What if they're watching this in Chicago? Chicago is lame, James. It's mostly made out of mud huts. In today's episode, we're going to pull back the curtain and reveal the mystery that is New York City. We'll show you how to get here. Where to stay once you've arrived. What to do when you're actually here. Where to eat and not die of food poisoning. Where all the cool people are hanging out and how you can pretend you're one of them. And generally how to avoid getting eaten alive by subway rats and homeless crazies. All this and advice from actual people who actually live here. Yeah, well, we got a lot of shit to cover today, James, so why don't we get started? Sounds good. Ah, New York City. Thought to actually be the center of the known universe, New York is one of the largest travel destinations in the world. Founded sometime before 1976, New York is rich in history and culture. Back in the day, so many of these filthy immigrants poured into the city that the town is almost schizophrenic in the type of neighborhoods and cultures that you could see just by walking along your merry little way. Aren't your family immigrants, Brian? Yes, James, uh, and they were filthy. From Chinatown to Little Italy, Harlem to Bay Ridge, no part of New York City is like another, and nowhere is that more evident than in the people that live here. I'm here with Valentin, who's a native of Mexico. Yeah. So, Valentin, what's one piece of advice you would give to a tourist coming to New York City? Eh, mire, eh, bueno, aquí en los, el payasito, eh, las mejores figuras que hace para los niños son las sombrillas, que las conocen como umbrellas. Do children hate you? Sí o no? Sí. I'm from Newark, actually, Newark, New Jersey. We're in the building, 973. 973, what's that? That's the area code over there. Like Beverly, <coughs> like Beverly Hills 2, 90210? Yeah, like that. Except, oh. except awesome. Yeah. Anybody who knows anybody that's Puerto Rican or represents Puerto Rico, they get love. All you need and is a flag. And they get the support. All you need is a flag and to show your respect for those overseas, underseas, underground. God bless them. Are, are there many Puerto Ricans underseas? So we're here in Central Park with... Hello. My name is John E. I'm from space, so I got all kinds of uh, different genes mixed in there. So on story. Are you serious? Yeah. You're from space? Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody. It's a like secret. Like MySpace? But if you had to use one word to describe tourists in New York City, what would you use? Manhattan. One word to describe tourists in New York. Puerto Rico. Where do you teach? Uh, well, me and I have a school called UNI Verse University. UNI Verse University? Uh -huh. Universe University? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is, is this an accredited college? Yes, not accredited by, well, it's the accredited. people who accredit colleges? Yeah. Look at that! How you doing, sweetheart? Hey! Oh! We're gonna call over here. You wanna interview her so we go get it? Holler at your boy! Yeah, holler at your boy! <laughs> Ninja, have you ever been to Staten Island? Uh, no. Do you plan on going to Staten Island? Um, yes. Ooh, when? Uh, um, how about Friday? Friday's good for me. Okay. Uh, I'll check with the rest of Staten Island and we'll see if, you, if we can pull it up. Ah, Staten Island. It's the jewel of the East Coast. See, what most people don't know, well, what most New Yorkers don't know, is that New York City is split up into five different boroughs. Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, and New Jersey. Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens, and Staten Island are these boroughs, and they all have their particular attractions. Except for Queens. F Queens. Right, f it. Every borough is special, but Staten Island is a literal Shangri-La. Sure, lots of tourists take the free Staten Island Ferry simply to see the Statue of Liberty. And that is a great view of Lady Liberty. I mean, the only way to get a better one is to pop in your copy of Ghostbusters 2. 
But if you made the round trip without exploring Staten Island, you'd be missing out on the single best experience you will ever have on this planet that we call Earth. Nothing you have ever seen, no pleasure you've ever experienced can prepare you for what's to come on Staten Island. In fact, we have a man standing by dedicated to showing you Staten Island and nothing but Staten Island. Sal? Hi, this is Sal Volcano reporting from Staten Island, uh, the virtual oasis of delight God. Uh, we're going to be interviewing people from this wonderful borough uh, to see what they have to say about their hometown uh, and all the exciting beneficial things there are to do here because they are a plenty us traveling on Staten Island um, do you guys have a lot of roads yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of roads. Like main roads, or would you say like congestion is a problem? Like, would you say that uh, you have a lot of small roads? Do you guys have a, what, a zoo? Do you have animals? Who claims that uh, Staten Island's too crowded? Oh, everybody says it's too crowded, I guess. But so is, you know, every place else, too. On a scale of 1 to 10, comparing Staten Island to other boroughs, would you say um, Staten Island is way, way more exciting than the other boroughs? Oh, I think so. Even though I haven't been been to the other boroughs. Coming up next, we're going to show you how to get to New York and what to do when you are here. And if you don't come back, you'll never get to know this gem of wisdom. What's the favorite place you'd like to go to to eat in New York? To eat, uh, I'm, I mostly love to eat uh, uh, Russian food. Russian food? Where's the best Russian restaurant in New York? Best Russian food in this area. It's my, my uh, uh, for you, uh, 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 I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know uh, how it's explained. It's uh, Arbat, National, it's anything. Ah, it's great, a great film. <laughs> it's great. Do you film. like Italian? <laughs> great film, great.